welcome to Nita Cricket. My name is Anita. Today I'm going to be working with Yet Steel, the famous leaflet stitch. And I realized that as much as most of you have gone ahead to try making maybe a top out of it, a skirt out of it, a dress out of it, I felt like we are leaving out pants, shorts or rompers and I'm just really a fan of them so I sat down and tried to figure out a way on how I can actually achieve a pant or shorts or trousers using the very same pattern. It wasn't really easy but then I figured out a way and I hope it works for all of you. So first of all this pattern is going to be the written pattern for these pants or sorry um shirts is going to be available on my um itsy and ravelry so you can always just go ravel me or go to your itsy finds and just find me and purchase the written pattern okay now i'm going to be working with a 3.5 millimeter hook but you can also use a four millimeter hook since we are working with size four yarn okay and um, we'll need a pair of scissors and a tape measure. Then lastly, a darning needle. I don't know where I've thrown mine. A darning needle to weave in your ends. I'm going to be working with uh, Robin Chunky. It's 100% acrylic, 100 grams, and it is size 4 yarn. Okay, so let's get started. First and foremost, I'm going to make a magic circle, just like that, and I'll get my hook, yarn over, insert my hook into the magic circle and work a single crochet. Now I'll chain three, two of the chains and this single crochet worked, are going to act as a stitch and then this chain one is going to be the chain space, okay? So I'm going to yarn over into the very same magic circle. I'll work a double crochet, chain one, work a double crochet into the next, uh, into the magic circle, chain one, work a double crochet. Lastly, chain one, work the last double crochet. So literally we have five stitches, including the chain three that started the row. Now I'm going to pull my end. We are going to chain five, one, two, three, Four, five turn your work skip the first stitch skip the next chain stitch and into the next stitch you work three double crochets into the very same stitch okay chain three skip one stitch and into the next which is the double crochet work a double crochet chain three Skip one stitch into the next you work at you work three double crochets in the very same stitch Chain two Now into the second chain stitch of the three that started the previous row you work a double crochet So this is what we have. Okay now um, We chain six Turn your work Skip these two stitches right here and into the next stitch you work two double crochets Then work one double crochet into the next stitch and lastly into the very last stitch you work two double crochet Chain three Work one double crochet into this chain three skip three work one double crochet in the next stitch chain three Skip three, work two double crochets into the into the next stitch. One double crochet in the next, and then two double crochets into the next stitch. Chain three. Uh, skip three and into the third double into the third chain stitch of the five that started the previous row. You work a double crochet. So this is what we have, okay? Now here we are going to chain uh, four. One, two, th three, four. This pattern is very simple because it's a repeat of three steps, okay? 
you just keep repeating three steps only and everything will create itself so i'm going to go over those three steps so you guys can really get to understand it and once you do i'll let you guys work the entire project on your own so uh chain four okay into this very first stitch right there you work a double crochet just like that chain three work skip three and work two double crochets into the next stitch now into the next three stitches you work three double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet you work two double crochets chain three skip three and work one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one one double crochet all in the very same stitch just like that okay chain three skip three work two double crochets into the next stitch work three double crochets in the next three stitches and into the next st stitch you work two double crochets chain three skip three and into the third double the third chain stitch of the six that started the previous row you work one double crochet chain one one double crochet all in that very same stitch so this is what we have okay now here we are going to chain five skip one into the next right here we work three double crochets okay chain three skip three skip four we are going to skip these three uh chain stitches and then the first stitch of this leaflet now into the next we work one double crochet then work four double crochets into the next four stitches that means we are going to have a total of five double crochets on this leaflet just like that chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next stitch chain two skip one work one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip one work three double crochets into the next stitch chain three skip four and work five double crochets into the next five stitches chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next uh, stitch chain two skip one work one double crochet so we started with chain five three of them acts as a stitch and the two is the chain gap in between which has happened on this side as well this is what we have okay now i'm working the third step one chain six one two three four five six skip these first two chain stitches and work two double crochets into the next stitch work one double crochet in the next stitch and lastly work two double crochets into the very last stitch chain three skip four because we are going to skip the first stitch of this so we work into the next and work <coughs> three double crochets into the next three stitches chain three skip four work two double crochets into the very first stitch right there of the leaflet and then work one double crochet in the next lastly work two double crochets into the next stitch chain three skip two and work one double crochet into the next stitch chain three skip two work two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet in the in the next and lastly two double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet just like that chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next three stitches 
chain three, skip four, work two double crochets into the next stitch, one double crochet in the next, and lastly two double crochets into the next stitch. Now here you chain three, skip two, uh, sorry, skip three and work one double crochet into the third chain stitch of the five that started the previous row. See that? That's what we have. So here we chained six, three of it acts as a stitch and the three is for the chain gap. Now, as you can see, these are the three steps I told you we repeat, okay? And now I'm going to get back to the, the very first step and do exactly what I did here. Let me show you what I mean. So here we chain four into this very first stitch right there. We work a double crochet just like we did here. The chain three acts as a stitch and then the one, the, the, the fourth chain is the chain gap. So we chain three, work two double crochets into... Um, the next uh, stitch and then three double crochets into the next three stitches and two double crochets into the last stitch of the leaflet chain three skip four one two three chain three skip four work one double crochet into this chain three skip uh, four okay and work two double crochets into this stitch three double crochets into the next three stitches and lastly two double crochets into the very last stitch of this leaf. chain three skip three and work one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one one double crochet all in the very same stitch this is exactly what we did here if you remember clearly this is what we did here so here we chain three into the skip three and into the next we work two double crochets three double crochets into the next three stitches and then two double crochets into the last stitch of the leaflet chain three skip four chain three Work one double crochet into the next stitch, chain three, skip four, two double crochets into the next stitch, three double crochets in the next three stitches, and lastly, two double crochets into the very last stitch of the leaflet. Chain three. Now, into the third chain stitch of the six that started the previous row, you work one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, all in the very same stitch. See what we have <clears throat> now uh, here we work this row the second step right here we chain five turn our work skip one and work three double crochets into the next stitch chain three skip four and work five double crochets into the next five stitches Chain three, skip four and work three double crochets into the next stitch. Chain three, skip four, work five double crochets into the next uh, five stitches. Chain three, skip four, work three double crochets into the next stitch. Chain two, skip one and work one double crochet in the next this is exactly what we did here mm? so chain two skip one three double crochets into the next chain three skip four work uh five double crochets into the next five stitches chain three skip uh four work sorry uh three double crochets into the next stitch chain three <coughs> skip four work five double crochets into the next five stitches lastly chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next stitch 
chain two and work um, one double crochet into the third chain stitch of the four that started the previous row. This is what we have. Okay. Now to work my third step, which was already worked here. This is it here. We chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip these two stitches and work two double crochets into this stitch. One double crochet in the next. And then two double crochets into the next stitch. Chain three. Skip four and work three double crochets into the next three stitches. Chain three, skip four. Work two double crochets in the next. One double crochet into the next one stitch. And then two double crochets into the next, into the last stitch of this leaflet. Chain three. Skip four and work three double crochets into the next three stitches. Chain three, skip four. Work two double crochets into the next stitch. This is what we did here. Okay. One double crochet in the next. Two double crochets into the next uh, stitch. Chain three. Skip two and work one double crochet into the next. Chain three. Skip two. Work two double crochets in the next. In the next stitch. One double crochet into the next. And two double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet. Chain three, skip four. Work three double crochets in the next three stitches. Chain three, skip four. Work two double crochets into the next stitch. Two double crochets, okay? And then one double crochet in the next. Lastly, two double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet. Chain three, skip four and work three double crochets into the next three stitches. Chain three, skip four and work two double crochets into the next uh, two stitches, uh, sorry, into the next stitch. One double crochet in the next and lastly two double crochets into the very last stitch of the leaflet. Chain three, work one double crochet into the third chain stitch of the five that started the previous row. So this is it. Now I believe you guys have understood that it's just a repeat of three steps. This, this, this. Repeat it, this, this, this. And just continue on and on like that. So I'm going to let you guys continue working this until you have this is 12 inches wide so measure your waist and divide the total number of your waist all the way around by two okay divide it by two for example if you're 28 divide by two you'll get 14 so you work this until you have 14 inches okay wide all right and once once you have 14 inches what i mean is work this is repeat these three steps as i have showed you until you have the width that you need for your waist that means divide your waist by two because we are going to make two pieces of these for the front and the back area okay so um once you have the width of your waist as i have said this is what you're going to do this means that now we are going to start working straight Mm? making sure that this comes straight like this but continues to have this sort of bend so what do we do to have it straight on the edges straight on this end but then slanted onto this because the reason as to why i'm going to go on and on having this straight but also getting this uh deeper because this is going to go to my crotch and in most cases, most human beings, sizes small and, and medium, have a length of 10 inches from the waistline to the crotch, to mid with the crotch, okay? So I want to work this until I achieve 9 inches. 
let's say nine inches okay yeah let's say nine because i'm leaving one inch for my waist for my waist uh waistband so let's say nine i want to go deeper but then straight on this side because i've already achieved the width that i want for my waistline so now i have to crochet it straight so that i don't widen the project yet i've already achieved the width of my waist i hope you guys have understood mm -hmm. here you're going to chain three turn your work now first of all i want to eliminate this first three uh, chain stitches and to eliminate them this is what i'll do the chain three is going to act as a double crochet stitch all right so i am going to just skip all these three and work into this uh, stitch right here and i'll work to double crochet I'll just continue with the way my design has to be okay so we work two double crochets into that stitch and then three double crochets into the next three stitches just like we have been doing okay and then lastly two double crochets into the next stitch chain three skip three and work one double crochet in the next okay chain three skip Oh, sorry, skip four and work one double crochet in the next chain three, skip four, work two double crochets into the next stitch, three double crochets in the next three stitches, and then two double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet. Chain three, skip four, work one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochet, sorry, chain three, skip four. Two double crochets into the next stitch three double crochets in the next three stitches and then two double crochets into the last stitch of the leaflet chain three work one double crochet in the next stitch chain one one double crochet again chain one one double crochet again all in that very same stitch chain three work two double crochets into this uh, stitch then work three double crochets into the next three stitches lastly you work two double crochets all in the very same stitch two double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet see what we have okay so i'll let you go on and on until you get right here okay Instead of working two double crochets into the very last stitch right here, this is what you will do. I've already worked one double crochet, so the second one, I will make it incomplete, just like that. Then yarn over, insert my hook into the third chain stitch. That means I'm going to skip three stitches and insert my hook into the third chain stitch of the six that started the previous row, just like that, and then work two uh, pull through two then pull through all that means I've worked two double crochets together but skip three stitches in between okay now chain to turn your work so this is our very first stitch and this is our next stitch okay so we skip the first into the next we work three double crochets together into the next three stitches just like that you see that and then work two double crochets into the next two stitches see that and then chain three skip four work three double crochets into this Now here you chain three because you already know what to do. You skip four and work five double crochets into the next stitch. So literally we had to have five double crochets here, but then we have worked three double crochets together and then two double crochets into the next two stitches, which makes it a total of five, which we are going to work here. Okay. So you work your five double crochets into the next five stitches. Chain three skip four and work three double crochets into the next three stitches so just repeat this chain three skip four work five double crochets into the next five stitches chain three 
skip four, work three double crochets into the next three, uh, into the next stitch. Chain three, sorry, chain two, work one double crochet into the next, skip one and work one double crochet into the next. Just like that. So just go on with this until you get right here onto this last uh, leaflet. That's where I'm going to meet you and then show you what to do. So once you are here at your very last leaflet, you will skip chain three, skip four, work two double crochets, just like we did on this side, on the other side. Two double crochets into the next two stitches and then you work. Remember we skipped the very first stitch and then work three double crochets together into the next three stitches. So what we do here is we work four double crochets together. <coughs> Just like that and into this very last stitch we work and then pull through all see that so we chain three work two uh, three double crochets together into the very first uh, three stitches so today we haven't skipped okay so we just work three double crochets together into all the stitches the first stitches see what we have we already starting to get a straight line so we chain three uh, chain three skip three and then work two double crochets into the next uh, stitch one double crochet in the next and lastly two double crochets into the next uh, stitch okay chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next uh, stitch so as you can see this is exactly what we had there we had to have three stitches here just like here but then we have worked three double crochets together chain three <coughs> skip four and work two double crochets into the first stitch one double crochet in the next and lastly two double crochets into the last stitch of the leaflet. so just do the same until you get to this point okay and once here you will work three double crochets together into all these three stitches to end your row i hope you guys have really understood and you can just always go back and see what i have done from here okay all the way because the next row is you are just going to for the next row you are just going to chain three and turn your work skip all these three chain stitches and then just this is exactly what we did here okay so just make a recap and see what i have done then continue all the way down so to use our tape measure we shall just get to measure this okay so uh you will measure this and see that you are achieving your goal or inches as you have measured from your waistline to the way to mid with a crotch. So just continue with the pattern here for just a few rows. Once you have achieved the inches you need for your crotch from your waistline to the mid of your crotch. Okay, that's where you're going to stop and follow the very same steps to work your second piece. Okay. Follow from the start to the end where I am. So for me, this is what I have. This is my first piece and this is my second. Follow the very same steps and work two pieces. Once you have two pieces, this is where I'm going to find you and then show you what to do. I am at this point. So once you have achieved the length that you need here, okay? Mine is already, let me see. Yeah, it's 10 inches exactly. Okay? So once you have achieved the length and you have worked your next row and you have arrived at the crotch, this is what you're going to do to join the two pieces together. Here for me, I have to chain three and skip three, then work one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Okay. So I'm just going to, um, here I'm just going to cross over, turn my work, pick two pieces together, yarn over, insert my hook onto the opposite piece, okay, into the double crochet, the middle double crochet at the peak of it. 
right there and work a double crochet chain one just like i have done here i'll chain one and then work another double crochet in the very same stitch okay now here i'll chain three work two double crochets into this uh, stitch and then uh, work three double crochets into the next three stitches two double crochets in the next two stitches chain three one double crochet in the next chain three skip four two double crochets into the next uh, two stitches into the next stitch three double crochets in the next three stitches and lastly two double crochets into the very last stitch of this leaflet so you're just going to continue with this pattern and how your row asks, requires of you to to work okay i'll just meet you at the end of the row and then show you what to do next so once at your very last uh very last row as i told you the last second double crochet uh the second double crochet that has to be worked into the leaflet or which we will call the last double crochet for this leaflet we make sure it is incomplete and then we just work two double crochets together into the very last stitch as well just like that okay so now here we chain three and turn our work skip the first stitch and work three double crochets together into the next three stitches like that and then work two double crochets into the next two stitches chain three skip four and work three double crochets into the into the next stitch so here i'm going to let you guys follow the pattern follow the pattern until you get to this point here that's where i'm going to meet you and show you what to do so as you can see i have arrived here you will just chain three into this double crochet right here you will work three double crochets just like that okay um once we have worked our three double crochets we are going to chain two now here we are going to skip one and then work two double crochets together into the next two stitches just like that all right mm. chain two mm. and then work three double crochets into skip one and then work three double crochets into the, the next stitch just like that see that if we put our work together like this this is what we shall have now we are going to just follow the very same pattern that we have worked on this side follow the same and do it on this side until you get here at the end of your row you will just do exactly what you did when you were starting chain three skip four work two double crochets into the next skip four work two double crochets into the next two stitches and then lastly work four double crochets together okay four double crochets together into the next four stitches so um this is how i have ended my row and this is how my work looks like so you see we have <coughs> already started to have um our pants from the crotch okay what we do here is we chain three and turn our work so this is the very first stitch so into that and into the next two stitches we work three double crochets together chain three skip three and work two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet in the next and lastly two double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next three stitches chain three skip four work two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet in the next and lastly two double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet 
chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next three stitches so this is what you are going to repeat until you get here in the middle that's where i'm going to meet you and show you what to do so once we are here we are going to chain three and work one double crochet into that stitch see that at first i worked two double crochets because i wanted to bring this together and now i'm working one double crochet and this is going to be the center for our leaflets like the origin from where our leaflets like start just like you see this okay now here we are going to chain three and then get to the next stitch right there work two double crochets and then one double crochet in the next and then two double crochets into the last stitch so continue with the whole entire project until you get to this point right here once you are here you are going to work three double crochets together into the last stitches to end your row so that's where i'm going to meet you and show you how to work the next row okay this is how my row looks like okay so once here i'm going to chain three and turn my work I'm going to skip the first three stitches okay the first three chain chain stitches because I want to um, eliminate them so I cross over to the next and just work two double crochets into that very first stitch and then um, three double crochets into the next three stitches then lastly into the very last stitch of this leaflet we work two double crochets chain three skip four and work one double crochet into the next stitch chain three skip four work two double crochets into the next stitch three double crochets into the next three stitches and lastly two double crochets into the last stitch so you're going to repeat this until you get right here that's why i'm going to meet you and then show you what to do so once you are here this is what you are going to do you are going to chain three okay yarn over insert our hook into this double crochet and work one double crochet chain one work one double crochet again in the very same stitch chain one work one double crochet again in the very same stitch okay and then chain three continue with what you have been doing uh, the double crochet two double crochets in the very first stitch and then three double crochets into the next three stitches and lastly two double crochets into the very last stitch of this leaflet after you chain three and skip four work one double crochet into the next stitch so continue with this until you get to this point so once you are here you will work your double crochets as you have to work them for this leaflet then after you will just work a double crochet without working any chains so that we eliminate this just like we did when we were starting the row okay so this is what i meant okay i just skipped over and worked a double crochet into the very last stitch right there so that's what you should also do okay so continue with the whole entire project until you achieve the length of shirts that you want you already know what to do after this okay just copy from what we did here because this is this step right here so just copy and go on and on with the whole entire procedure but just remember that we start with three double crochets together and end with three double crochets or where we start with chain three we should end with a double crochet at the end okay just like this or where we start with four double crochets together definitely end with four double crochets together okay because we want to keep this straight so just continue this until you achieve the length of the shirts that you want so this is where i am and um, once you have achieved the length of the shirts that you want for example me right here and i'm assuming this is the length i want for my shirts okay so i want to make sure that this is straight and this is straight to make this kind of corner like that this is what i am going to do please make sure that this is where you stop okay at the center that's where you should stop 
okay and now chain three and turn your work once you turn your work you're going to eliminate these first three stitches and just get into the next stitch right there and work two double crochets follow that very same thing you have to do and then three double crochets into the next three stitches just like we have been doing and lastly two double crochets into the very last stitch so chain three skip four work one double crochet in the next stitch chain three skip four go on and on with the very same pattern so i'm just going to meet you at the end of the row just to show you how to end it and how it looks like so here once i am getting at the end of my row i want to eliminate these first three stitches okay so i'll just yarn over sorry make sure that this last double crochet is incomplete yarn over work two double crochets together into the last stitch just like that okay so if i make my work like this so that you guys can see what i am talking about you see so this is going to start going straight like this because what we are doing this side is what we are doing this side so it's going to start going straight just like you already see it's going straight so you are going to follow the very same pattern we have been doing and just copy how we have worked these ends to make sure they keep straight it's exactly what you do on this side so for this next row let me just show you this last row chain three turn our work work four double crochets together one two three four and then work two double crochets into the next two stitches see that chain three skip four and work uh, three double crochets into the next stitch chain three skip four work uh, five double crochets into the next five stitches chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next stitch chain three skip four five double crochets into the next five stitches chain three skip four three double crochets into the next three stitches and then lastly chain three skip four you work two double crochets into the next two stitches and then four double crochets together into the last four stitches just like that then chain three turn your work so literally see what we have are you seeing that it's now starting to become straight so it's going to go on and on become straight as also this one becomes straight and we shall have a corner so uh what you have done on this side you will just cross over this side okay once you are at this row just like here you will chain three and work a slip stitch into this row into this double crochet stitch okay then for the next uh for the next row that's where we started our decrease as you can see we'll just chain three and then copy what we have done here and go on with your row so literally this is what you are going to do what we have been doing always here to make sure that this place is straight is what you do here and then you'll turn your work do it here as well so that we have a straight line okay on both sides now you will turn your work get over to this leg and do the same thing let me just explain this part yes um once you are here and you have worked your double crochet because here has to have a double crochet just like it is here so you'll work your double crochet and then chain one work a slip stitch into this stitch right here you'll work a slip stitch into this and then cross over to this side chain one and work your double crochet into this side into this side okay and then continue with the whole same thing so what we have done on this side is what we do on this side 
just complete your leg here and come back work your leg this side complete it as well once you have completed all your legs and now you want to join these ends together the sides eh? which i call the sides right here this is what you will do you are just going to insert your hook assuming this is my tip and this right this is what you will do to join the two together here you'll work a single crochet make sure this is done on the inside because this is going to be our seam okay so what we do is we chain two get into the joint of our next row right there also this side you do the same and work a single crochet chain two into the joint of the next row sorry right there and also this side the joint of the next row work a single crochet chain two the joint of the next row just make sure you're working into the rows okay just like that work a single crochet chain two in the joint of the next right there and this is it on this side work a single crochet chain two find the joint of the next and the joint of the next work single crochet chain two so here you are joining these ends together so i'm just going to show you how it looks like it will actually not look like no one will know it was joined also to be exact this is my very first attempt at these shots i just figured in my head like if someone made a skirt like this then a shot should be made like this and this is my first attempt it's not like i have been practicing it and trying to make it several times before i made the tutorial once i figured it in my head i said let me just grab my tripod and my phone and start recording okay so this is our seam and that's how it looks like so let's turn inside in out and see how it looks like see that guys how cool is that it doesn't even show see it okay oh my god oh my god i cannot i cannot can you because i cannot <laughs> ah this is so cool so guys this is what you are going to do for your seam on the sides and make sure that you have joined almost every row by row and that's what you'll do all the way down to achieve your join okay just like that so um to get to the waistline you will just find any stitch on the sides i love to just uh, start from the sides it's easy like not to show where i started from oh. so here we are and i've chained chain one okay work one single crochet in here and then the other into the joint so literally we are just going to work two single crochets into every double crochet post but for me i work one in the joint and one into the post itself just like that but if you can't keep up with that you can just work two single crochets into every double crochet post that you see okay so we are going to do this all the way around okay see that so just work this all the way around and once you have you will get to work a slip stitch chain to turn your work and then start working one double crochet into every stitch just like that see that so if you feel like this is just the length that you want for your waistband you can just uh, work a slip stitch and then maybe add a drawstring to it if you feel you can go on and on you will just uh slip stitch chain two turn your work work another row of double crochets and once you have achieved the width that you want for your waistband you will uh, work a slip stitch 
and yes we have learned how to make our shirts so i hope you have loved this tutorial let me see you all in my next tutorial thank you for watching guys goodbye i have loved to manipulate this stitch and i have made a cushion case out of it i have made a bag a market slouchy bag out of it now i have made shots for you guys all patterns for this are on my itsy and rubbery so you can just go rub on me and find me on itsy and just purchase the written patterns and next i want to try out a skirt at top of this very same stitch i want to just manipulate this stitch until i cannot manipulate it no more so i hope you have loved this tutorial thank you all goodbye Thank you.